So let's find out how to do, uh, have LT Spice calculate the average and RMS uh, values of a signal. In this case, I've set up a one kilohertz sine wave. I'm going to run it for two milliseconds. I've already plotted it out. I'll just click here to make it bigger. And if I just press control and then click with the left mouse button on the signal, I see that the interval is zero, goes to two milliseconds. The average should be zero, but it, again, it's a numerical pro program with numerical errors, so that's pretty close to zero. And that really looks like one divided by the square root of two, which is, um, in this case, should be the RMS value. Now, if you zoom in on a, on a different interval and then I do it it does it on the interval so see the RMS of a sine wave I'm not really getting it in fact and the average is creeping up there and so I can even get you know what's the RMS of this just by zooming in on that and look the average is now, a positive number, it's significantly deviating from zero. Um, interestingly enough, we're getting almost the same RMS value as when we had the full sine wave. And the reason is, is that when we look at RMS, you square the signal and then integrate it. So really, if I just... multiply that together this is what's really being done when you find the RMS signal is you really just have to integrate over one half cycle and if I click on it right now it just gives me an average and if I wanted the, uh, the power let's say that was um, You know, we were running that 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 voltage through a 10 ohm load, V squared divided by 10. That average should be the RMS power.